where you feel like, oh my gosh, there's how, like, how do I possibly do this? Or if you're feeling like there's a block, ask yourself, well, what can I do? What am I capable and able to do now in this moment? And it can be one small step to get to that point or to step outside of that block. You know, you might not be able to go through it, but you can go around it or over it or under it. There might be another way. There might be another perspective, another, it's just a matter of shifting your mindset. And I, I remember having days where I, sh you know, I had this 1800 mile journey, ride, bike ride ahead, but I had days where I was like, I can't get out of bed today. Well, what can I do? Well, I can brush my teeth. I'm going to get up and I'm going to brush my teeth. And so, and, and that eventually led to that 1800 mile bike ride. So I want to remind you, don't focus on what you can't do. Focus on what you can do. It, it seems small, but I'm sure every small victory can sort of be a reinforcement to get up and try again the next day. Absolutely. And it leads to the next thing. Eventually. So when you're out there on those rides, what goes through your mind? Are, are you enjoying the scenery as you're passing through the mountains or the coastline? Or do you think other things that are unrelated to what you actually see in front of you? It really depends on the moment. Um, <laughs> sometimes it's very, it takes very conscious effort to actually look around and, and enjoy the scenery or even stopping to get off my bike, bike and enjoy the view. Sometimes my focus needs to be on simply pedaling. Some, sometimes I'm in a mindfulness state where there's nothing in my brain except just one rotation after the other. And then sometimes <laughs> it's just a matter of staying on the road. <laughs> Not getting driven off the road by a semi truck or something. And so it's, it's like a matter of safety and focusing on that. 